Today, we're going to be talking about the new test time compute module, the Nemo Agent Toolkit. With this release, we're trying to give developers the ability to be able to take arbitrary agent workflows and scale them at runtime to be able to tackle complex problems. And this extends far beyond just reasoning models. And we do this using four strategies called a search strategy, an editing strategy, a scoring strategy, or a selection strategy. Let's think about how that works. When we have an agent or a tool that an agent uses, Often developers want to be able to scale that at runtime to be able to do multiple things or search multiple trajectories in order to be able to get the right answer. We call this search. And this inherently gives any Nemo Asian Toolkit function the ability to execute multiple times with different configurations in order to be able to retrieve a result. Once that result's been retrieved, the next step is editing. This also works with any Nemo Asian Toolkit function. The output of any search strategy can be edited to be either fine-tuned using a large language model or changed a little bit using deterministic strategies. The logic inside any search or editing function is completely customizable, but we do have some pre-built strategies you can use with the release of this module and toolkit. Once searching and editing is complete, the final two steps are scoring and selection. Scoring is a strategy used to be able to judge how good a, the output of a search was, and selection is used to take the outputs of multiple searching and editing and scoring strategies to be able to select the best one for the agent to move forward with. What this inherently enables agents and agentic workflows to do is to be able to try multiple things at runtime to be able to answer a user's question and be able to select the best or most promising answer. And this can be used in a lot of contexts, including retrieval augmented generation, complex problem solving, like such as programming, or even mathematics. Let's take a dive into the code to be able to see how developers can build such strategies for any of their agents or use the inbuilt strategies with this release to be able to start scaling your agents today. There's four different ways developers can utilize the test time compute module with searching, editing, and scoring, and selection. And you can use any or all of these together. For example, there are a few pre-built implementations of each of these strategies that you can leverage out of the box. Let's take the search strategy for multi-query retrieval search, for example. With this search strategy, developers doing retrieval augmented generation can use an LLM to generate multiple diverse search queries, retrieve context for all of them, and then use that as collective context for the downstream task. Or a scoring strategy where an LLM can score the output based on a prompt. All of these can be used interchangeably because they have a unified interface. So if you wanted to write your own scoring, editing, or selection strategy, you can, and still use one of the pre-built search strategies in any manner. And because they all follow the same interface, they should just work. Let's explore how you would write a custom scoring, editing, selection, or search strategy. Every strategy has two types. The first is a stage type. It can either be a search, an editing, scoring, or selection strategy. A, a strategy cannot have both search and editing supported. It must only be one. However, they can be used in multiple contexts. For example, a single strategy can be used for planning, for tool use, or for agent execution, even any custom methodology you'd want. So strategies can support multiple pipeline types, but can only be part of a single stage type. And when you write a strategy, you must implement and inherit from the strategy base class. Every strategy must have a build components method that uses the Nemo Agent Toolkit's builder to be able to perform setup at instantiation, if any. But the implementation is optional and can be passed. And finally, it must have an asynchronous invocation method that takes a list of test time compute items, which is standardized data model, operate on them, and then return a list of test time compute items. And this standardized interface is what allows the interchangeability between all of these strategy types. For example, if we look at the best of n selector, which is a strategy for selection that takes multiple test time compute items and looks at their score to be able to select the highest one, we can see that the implementation of this class is fairly straightforward. There is no need to perform any setup, so we don't build any components. However, if you, if you were using an LLM in this case, you could use the builder just like you would in an Nemo Agent Toolkit function in order to be able to build and store your LLM in the class. 
We are agnostic in this strategy of whether the agent is doing planning, execution, or tool use. So we'll support all the above pipeline types by returning a list. And finally, we'll tell the toolkit that this stage is a selection type stage. What this allows developers to do is when they use searching, editing, scoring, or selection strategies, they can ask the builder to be able to construct it for them, and the builder will be able to perform runtime type validation to make sure that the strategy they requested is compatible with their agent. Finally, we have an invocation method, which accepts a list of test time compute items. And each test time compute item has an input, an output, a score, metadata, and other fields based on what is occurring in the test time compute module. Here, we'll only be looking at the score. So we iterate through all the scores and find the highest one and then return only that test time compute item. Note that every invocation requires a list of test time compute items to be returned in order to be able to standardize the interface. And so we'll return a list of one here. So once you've written your custom strategy, the next step is to be able to make it discoverable in the toolkit. And you do that using registrations, just like any other component of the toolkit. For example, earlier, you might have written a register LLM or a register embedder. This is a very similar interface. You simply write register test time compute strategy with your configuration, which can be an empty configuration. And then you write your function that registers a component, builds it, and then yields it. Let's take a look at this configuration, for example. Here, you just give it a name and no configuration options because it's a fairly straightforward implementation. Once you've been able to register it and import the test time compute strategy, you can use it in any part of your workflow. And with the toolkit, we also provide inbuilt ways of using these uh, strategies in an easy way, using functions. Just like another tool or an agent, we have several different function implementations that use various strategies to be able to perform a task. For example, the execute score selection function, which we will see a demo of shortly. What this function does is it runs a given task k times, scores the output of each, and then picks the best. So in order to be able to use this, all we need to do is modify the configuration file once we've written the strategies or using pre-built strategies in, a, in order to be able to use test time compute. Let's take the example of retrieval augmented generation. This is an example that is open source in our Nemo agent toolkit, GitHub repository. What we're going to do here is ask the agent a question, but try to see if the answer gets better when we run the same question multiple times and then combine the answer. This seems like a perfect place for test, test time compute to be helpful. Let's look at a previous configuration that did not use test time compute. You may already be familiar with the concept of retrievers, functions, which are tools, LLMs, embedders, and then the workflow, which is reasoning and acting agent or a React agent that has access to tools in order to be able to answer the user question. When we compare this to a configuration that then uses test time compute, there are only a few changes here. We move the React agent over to the function section because our workflow entry point is going to be a different function. We then tell the Nemo Asian toolkit we're going to be using test time compute in order to be able to build the right components. Here, we're going to be using a selection strategy called LLM-based output merging, where you take the output of multiple runs of search, and then you combine them using an LLM that will summarize the output into a single paragraph or an answer. And finally, we tell the Nemo Asian toolkit what the new entry point to the workflow is. Here, we say we're going to use execute score selection and the selector is a selection strategy that we configured up here. Recall that the execute score selection function runs an input multiple times and then returns the output by searching across them and then selecting them. And this is exactly what we do here. We would take the input to the React agent, run it a few times, in this case, three, down select them using LLM based output merging, and then return that back to the user. So during runtime, what we would end up seeing is a React agent running three times and then the output being merged across those three runs. And as my laptop sets up, let's explore a few other functions that we have built in the test time compute module that developers can start using today.
there is the test time tool wrapper function that is an arbitrary function that can take a tool and wrap it with an LLM to be able to translate free track text into structured arguments. There is a plan select execute function, which can generate a plan, uh, select a plan, and then pass that plan downstream in order for an agent to be able to work with the best possible plan for user input. And we see here that the agent on the right-hand side has now completed. Notice here that we have multiple final answers, and this is because the agent executed multiple times, and finally, our test time compute selection strategy merged them into a single unified answer that took the best parts of every answer and then returned that to the user. And this is a way of scaling retrieval augmented generation without using any code and purely configuration. An experiment to try would be to change the test time compute strategy, either searching or selection, to a different type that's already pre-built in the toolkit, and then seeing how that impacts performance. Happy scaling.